My sophomore year of college, I got a letter from my mom, and I always remember what it said, because it said, hi, Pat, here's your mail. Here are some stamps so you can write to me more often. <laughs> Irish mother shade. <laughs> Not much news going on here. Oh, wait, I remembered one thing. Mrs. Del Vecchio killed herself. She set herself on fire in the basement. Very sad. Anyway, that's all the news I have. Don't forget to write. <laughs> now, my mom's not really heartless. She just can't tell stories. And she actually liked Mrs. Del Vecchio quite a bit. Mrs. Del Vecchio was uh, the next door neighbor. She and my mom shared a backyard. And Mrs. Del Vecchio had what my mom would say are a lot of problems. She. Um, <laughs> She was an older single mom to a special needs son. Um, he was more uh, of a recluse than he was any sort of identifiable illness or anything, but he would stay home and she did all the work. She had some strange habits, like she would mow the lawn with a push mower, which wasn't too strange, except it was usually at like midnight. Um, and if you think a lawn mower at night is really kind of annoying, think of a push mower at midnight and it becomes creepy. And she always was late for work. She would uh, walk down to the train station, and every day my mom would pick her up halfway to the train station. And she was very recognizable. She always wore a lot of different coats and one of those big red hats that the women from that red hat society like to wear. Um, and she'd always be hurrying along, and my mom would pick her up, and she'd say, oh, thank God you're here. I'm just so pokey today. <laughs> now, this was every single day for about 10 years, she said this. <laughs> and my mom would say, could I please just pick you up at home because we're right next to each other? And she'd say, no, 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 I'm just pokey today. <laughs> but every once in a while, my mom would see if she was a little bit late, Mrs. Del Vecchio would just sort of be walking in place waiting for her, and then she'd come and pick her up. What was weird about the letter that I got from my mom was I was actually waiting for stamps from her because I had a letter for her, and I said, hey, mom, Funny story, I was driving along the street today, and in the middle of Amherst, I saw a woman who looked just like Mrs. Del Vecchio. And when I beat my horn to say hello, because I wasn't even thinking, she just looked back and waved me along. And I thought it was one of those kind of spooky coincidences, and I thought, oh, huh. well, it was the same day that she had actually set fire to herself in the basement. So, super spooky. So, a few years go on, and um, I'm out of college. My older brother, uh, has gotten engaged, and he and his future ex-wife are about to buy a house. <laughs> I learned shade from my mom. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, Mrs. Del Vecchio's house has gone on the market. Now, her son hadn't taken very good care of it, and also because of the, of the history of the house, um, it went for a very good price. Now, my brother is very handy and super cheap, so he bought the house. And as they were preparing for their wedding, they were also preparing the house. They finally pulled up a rug from the basement, and there was a spot. Now, it wasn't, if you didn't know what it was, you wouldn't know what it was, but we knew what it was, so we knew what it was. <laughs> and it was very, very obvious, it was just a circle where she had sat on the floor and done this to herself. And it was, it was just a terrible thing. So he said, I do really need to clean that up. And they tried, they tried cleaning it, they tried painting over it, and it would come through the paint. And he said eventually he had to do whatever handy people do when they cover a ba I don't know, I'm not a good man. So <laughs> guy things don't, they confuse me. But so he said, I really need to do that before we get married. Um, so of course, the day of his, uh, of his bachelor party, yes, that's what, Straight men do, I don't know. Um, we went drinking and then I went home. Um, uh, the day of his bachelor party, he was late. And uh, I said, hey, Chris, you know, uh, what happened? You know, why, were you, why were you late to your own bachelor party? And he's like, oh, well, I finally had to recover the basement. And I was like, that's super creepy. Because as I was driving to the bachelor party, I saw a woman along the road who looked very much like Mrs. Del Vecchio. And I thought, huh, how strange. What was even stranger was my younger brother came in and he said, hey Chris, along the way, I saw a woman who looked just like Mrs. Del Vecchio along the road and we came in different directions. Now I don't believe in any of that kind of thing. I don't believe in an afterlife or the paranormal or anything like that. But I do like to think in my heart that 
we really did help out Mrs. Del Vecchio just a little bit. We took her seriously, we took on some of her problems, and when she needed it, we helped her get where she needed to go. Thank you very much.